So let's look at a problem where we have a, a redox reaction. This is an overall balanced redox reaction. And uh, this reaction occurs spontaneously at room temperature. Let's write the two half reactions based on this overall reaction, and then determine which reaction occurs at the anode. Remember, the reaction that occurs at the anode is the oxidation react reaction. And then we'll determine which reaction occurs at the cathode. And remember that's going to be reduction. Okay. So um, what we need to do here is essentially separate out um, the half reactions based on atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So we have a chromium species here, so let's write that, Cr2O7 2 minus, and we'll put that on our reactant side, and then the other chromium species on the product side, we have 2 Cr3 plus. Um, we actually kind of need to figure out how many electrons are transferred here. And we can do that in the same way we would if we were balancing these half reactions, as I showed you uh, previously, balancing an acid or a base. So we have seven oxygen um, on the reactant side. So we can add seven water on the product side, and you'll notice that that's actually what's here. So you, it's basically basically checking your work and um, making sure it matches. And because we've added seven water, we need to add 14 H plus to the reactant side. And again, that shows up as well. Um, then we need to figure out how many electrons are transferred. And so on the reactant side, the overall charge is, we have plus 14 minus 2, so it's plus 12. Plus 12 overall. And on the product side, we have 2 times plus 3, so it's plus 6 overall. If we add 6 electrons to the reactant side, then we have plus 6 overall charge on the reactant side and plus six over on the product side. And now we've balanced and determined how many electrons are transferred. If we take the other half reaction, so we're going to have six I minus, and that's go on, going to go on to form three I two. And again, I'm leaving off my phases here. Uh, we're balanced in species other than oxygen and hydrogen. There's six uh, iodine on both si on either side um, so we don't need to worry about that we don't have any oxygen we don't have any hydrogen so that's all good the only thing left to balance then is the electrons so we have an overall of minus six on the reactant side and uh, zero overall on the product side so if we add six electrons to the product side um, we know that we, we now have balanced our electrons, balanced our charge. So it should work out when you have a balanced redox reaction that you end up with the same number of electrons in each half reaction. And the reason I did went through all of this is because I wanted to know what number of electrons those were going to be and figure out which side of the equation they were on. And now we can easily, more easily figure out uh, where reduction is occurring and where oxidation is occurring. So remember, reduction is gain of electrons. And in this half reaction, we can see that the reactants are gaining electrons. So this is reduction. And reduction occurs at the cathode. So this is the reaction that occurs at the cathode, which means for our iodine reaction, Okay, we lose electrons, double check here, this is oxidation, and we know that oxidation occurs at the anode.